rechargeable aluminium zinc ion battery this is plate type electrodes you see step by step how to prepare this okay friends friends today we shall prepare in plate form this is the positive electrode instead of carbon round rods no i have made a tin sheet in a tray form small you able to see tray form and the carbon mix you you can see my previous videos how to prepare this carbon electrode same here what i have done is with this carbon mix i have had one third amount of manganese oxide so that i need not put separate no this manganese oxide powder and bag all that i am going to just cut off those procedures so i have already mixed this pre mixed and i have cured on sand drying same process which you can see my carbon electrode manufacture no same those pressed i have pressed it dried or air dried then in fire for carbonization that's all now this is able to give uh, good conductance i'll show you what is the conductance of this will be my as usual aluminum sheet this is an aluminum sheet i have coated with zinc you can see my previous video no that using this uh, zinc oxide and caustic soda so i coated to assemble i have made a plastic a pp sheet this is the ceramic separators i am going to use it this i am going to use zinc sulfate zinc chloride electrolyte zinc sulfate more amounts in round forms are done still it is running those are still running it is so we shall see step by step i am going how to assemble it okay 3.9 3.8 3.7 okay friends similarly the so i have assembled here this will be positive this is the negative okay so in between i kept the pad little fold that side just to avoid direct contact then we will slowly insert it into this bag okay friends so one is over second and i'll same thing i'll do it and show it so we have assembled two individual cells electro uh, electro electrolyte able to see i'm pumping it inside this initial we can see now itself what will be the voltage generated you can see it slowly it is rise rising connected in series and the voltage i saw a little less you see it again 1.3 this is clubbing together i am getting only 1.3 because i have used no iron the tin sheet as the a positive you know that to carbon mix all that i should not have used the tin sheet that is a blender so we have to avoid it should be pure carbon electrodes pure carbon electrodes will definitely give not less than 1.6 per cell so for two cell it will give 3.2 whereas since i use tin sheet it is not giving it able to see only 0.65 volt it is so we'll friends i was not happy with the tin sheet you no know, the electrode so i removed the tin sheet i'll show you i removed the tin sheet back side no you able to see i was not satisfied because each electrode you no know, each cell should give 1.3 it was giving only 0.65 so i i took it we'll see how to confirm no i taken it out i spread it and the carbon electrode i was able to release it out able to see the markings then wash those electrode again zinc chloride and zinc sulfate i have placed it small amount for testing and i saw 
you are able to see this voltmeter this is positive okay this is negative able to see friends now i'm happy so this tin sheet should not be there for carbon so that the electrochemical balance is wrong so it reduces the voltage so able to see constant now i'm happy similarly i'll do for the second cell also i'll club together and finally i'll show you what is the ultimate voltage it is able to give okay right so i replaced it able to see i removed it just to, for confirmation i removed it and without this tin plate i have inserted now able to see this copper wire again fresh one i tied it even for the same this one no i have made it no i am able to see 1.3 1.3 volt i have tested also i shall do one thing i will insert it i will insert i'll show you i'll show you that is why i was satisfied sorry for the delay this is positive this is very little amount of electrolyte i added you able to see now i am little satisfied 1.36 1.7 if i will charge it it will shoot up to 1.8 also this is what i should get because of this tin plate the error has come okay i'll again add electrolyte fresh electrolyte i'll club together and i will show you in the final friends after adding this electrolyte no i may, i will see it what is the total serial volt 2.8 so i am now satisfied that is one cell gives 1.4 into 2 means 2.8 it's constant so this is what so taking out the tin sheet has given the actual value of this cell now we will see what is the ampere it is able to give current current also will see this is negative negative this is positive so exceeding 1000 amps i mean 200 now we will put in the 10 amps and see it so i am doing all in the front of you okay friends now we will say charge it and see now i charge for 2 minutes and i will see what is the amp it has current it has gained 0.6 that is 600 milliamperes it was 350 milliampere jump to 600 so after repeated charging recharge using and charging no it will improve to 1000 milliamperes we will see what is the volt also in the front of you we will see what is the volt. we see what is the volt so 3.5 nearly 1.75 volt it is 1.75 and 600 milliamperes okay we will see the motor running no i am satisfied friend because i was not satisfied the tin has given a lesson for me that i should not use tin for the positive it has given lesson for me If you like this video friend you can click the like button you can share with your friends you can comment okay this is rechargeable zinc coated aluminum ion batteries in series it is okay friends bye